Hello friends, welcome to Squared Plans. I'm Stephanie and today we're going to be setting up our faith planners for the month of October. And I've got these mild liners here ready to go. As well as this water brush pen and this Tombow blending palette that I'll use. And these sticker books which I'll pull from. Okay, you guys, so for the month of October, I decided to pre-set it up with a Bible reading theme, which will be Seeing God's Miracles, and that is just a Bible reading that will be down below in the description if you're interested in following along. Here's a quick view of it. I just looked these things up on Pinterest and just find something that seems interesting for the month and go ahead and do that. I'm also putting in a little hack here that I saw on Instagram and will look up the person who did it, but I don't know if I'll be able to find it. I saw it a long time ago, but it's just a quick little way to be able to use a month box on both sides. And I also glued it down with my Tombow glue runner. And then I also used this really cool glue pen that was sent to me again by Liz and uh, just use that to get the corners that are you know in that little awkward triangular pattern and stuck it down kind of neat in this application because i want to write down stuff about the verse in the box for each day and it's just not enough room when it's cut in half so i'm going to go ahead and do that we will come back to this spread but i think i'm going to move forward and get started on the other spreads first, the weeklies, so I have an idea how many stickers I'm going to use and all that jazz. The idea for this week or this month is to do some watercolor on top of these black and white stickers. I'm going to use my mild liners for the ink or the color. They have some pretty bright colors, which I really like, and it is water soluble. So uh, I'm using just my water brush pen that I got from Arteza and I'm just dipping it into the ink on that plastic blending palette, which is just a piece of plastic. Any kind of plastic should work just fine if you don't have something like this. That way you can kind of soak up the ink and move it onto the stickers at will. So this takes me a little bit Basically just found some fall colors from my mild liner mix and in bringing those in trying to vary the colors. I'm not doing a real good detailed job as far as staying in the lines. I'm just kind of letting the water color drop down and if it's in the lines great. If it's not no big deal. I'm trying to also blend the colors a little bit so not each element is a color itself but kind of more of a blend of colors so you know orange to yellow or the burnt orange to the cherry red tone just kind of blending them up so that they're all have um, you know more of a muddled color look and nothing that's too specific to one color so that's what I'm doing now and I'm gonna just start off with maybe like six of these floral clusters and see where it takes me I've also brought in two more mild liners, which I wasn't planning on using, but then remembered, oh, there's some leaves in here, and I definitely want those to have a little bit of a contrast. So I grabbed a green and then a brown from my stash, and I'm blending the green and the brown together to kind of create an olive in some areas. Some areas I'm using more of just a straight brown, and then some more the, just a straight green. So there's a little bit of variation there, but again, more um, blending options, nothing that's too specific to one color. And these are very fine leaves, especially on these smaller stickers. So like I said, not bothering trying to stain the lines, just doing my best to kind of color each piece and give it, you know, a little bit of vibrancy. Trying to keep the vibrancy is really what I'm working towards to make it interesting to look at. You know, in the future, I probably will get a smaller brush and use just like a dip of water on the brush, but really you don't want to put too much water on the brush as you're going to see a little later because the stickers, although they're thicker, thicker paper obviously, um, do hold up pretty well, but if you put too much water, it does kind of degrade the quality of the sticker and the stickiness. So 
there's a point where I try to remove some still semi-wet stickers off of the wax paper and the sticker backing almost comes off. Just keep that in mind. You do not want to be saturating these stickers with watercolor. You just want to do the lightest touch, enough to mix the colors up, but maybe not saturate too much. I wasn't pushing on the water brush pen at all. I was just using whatever wetness was already on the water brush pen and moving that over with the ink, if that makes sense. I'm now into the Colorful Floral sticker book and am pulling in a couple of quotes as well. That's also where I got those black and white floral clusters. And I have pulled another quote from the Seasonal Floral sticker book that I just picked up recently at Joann's, I think. I got it when it was on sale for maybe 50% off or 40% off. So uh, it's a one of the first books I've picked from the new collection, and there's a couple of other ones I'm interested in, but I'm trying not to go overboard and just buy sticker books to have them because I still have so many stickers and I feel like I may never use them all. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's no way. And so why do I keep buying them? You know, I need to figure out a way to use them or I don't know, just... A lot of them, the decor is really all I want out of the book, and then the rest of these functional stickers can just go somewhere. And So if you are a functional sticker person, feel free to reach out at any time and um, request stickers. I would be happy to send you some. Just to be willing to pay for shipping. I'll ship it internationally if you don't mind paying for shipping. So I'll just put that out there right now because I do have so many sticker books that I know I'm just never going to use a lot of those functional stickers those box stickers with headings and things like that. So if you're looking for something, do reach out. You can either um, reach out in the comments or email me and we can work something out. Okay, so I've cut a couple of quotes up from that colorful uh, floral sticker book, those like water or those um, like brush stroke quotes because they were too long to fit in the box sections that I'll be putting them in. Each one of these four clusters I'm working on is going to be for each week and they're going to fit in the this week section. I decided that I'm going to keep this month pretty simple as far as decor so we're just going to focus on those boxes there at the top. This is this week and that's it. No extra stuff. We're just going to make a little cluster and then let the lettering, which is what I use this weekly layout for, kind of fill in the rest of the stuff to look at. Again, I'm just kind of working these clusters, trying to make each one a little bit interesting. I had pulled two quotes from the seasonal book, the two on the bottom, and that's really all I used from that book so far. The rest of this is all coming out of the colorful boxes, uh, not colorful boxes, colorful floral sticker book. I'm also adding in a few stickers from another page in that book that just kind of enhance some of these clusters. So I will need to put in more color here on some of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it right here on the wax paper since, like I said, I'm not really putting more water into it. Hopefully that will help. But this is where I started to see the stickers not being dry enough to pick up, which you'll see. I also realized I missed a few things in some of the clusters themselves, like some of the finer little branches and things. So I will go back and kind of fill those in, but basically just the leaves are green, olive or brown, kind of mixing those up. And then the florals are in the kind of reds to yellow tones and then anything in between, just filling it in and making it look as lush as possible. That one floral cluster in the corner, I'm just going to save that for the monthly layout that we'll go back to. Probably add some more to that as well, but for now I think I got enough to actually get these weeklies done. So we'll go ahead and get started. And so I'm going to start by laying down this quote. Like I said, I cut it in half so it says, so very on the top and then grateful for all on the bottom. It just had to 
find a good spot to cut it so it makes sense. And that red flower at the edge there was one of the ones I was telling you about that um, just really was too saturated when I tried to pick it up and almost fell apart there on me. So again, just be careful how much water you're adding to these stickers. They will not continue to soak them up. It will break on you. So we're on to the next week and I'm laying in the stickers and the quotes for that. Again, just trying to be real careful now that I know that the stickers don't hold up all that well when they are still wet and some of these are. And I'm going to go ahead and move over the third week. That one's a little crooked. I'm just going to make an adjustment. And then try to straighten out my cut there that was a little crooked so I can get this right lined up with the edge of the box. And there's that. And then we have the last one here. tried to go in kind of like a bright to darker toned order which you'll see when I flip through it's just because I liked that idea so like I said I've already penciled in the entire month's worth of verses that I'll be reading for the daily verse I also do a verse of the day that is an auto fed verse from the app you version which is what I use to like read my Bible to do the verse of the day the whole thing my whole plan is basically there on my phone in that app so I really like that so I penciled those verses in and what I'll do is each day as I complete the reading and then do my little summary on top of it I will pin it in and erase the pencil mark so that's just kind of how I keep track of how I'm progressing and if I forgot something or forgot to do one I can easily tell. I also have my little title here that I like to do in the sidebar so I know what I'm studying and so it says seeing God's miracles so it's just going to be about the miracles in the Bible and just kind of like how God provides which I think is a good thing to focus on for me right now because there's just been things I've been praying for for a long time and I just don't know I'm starting to lose hope you know on things just like to see how he did, you know, it's a good reminder to see how he dealt with those kind of things in the Bible. God comes through when he's ready. And a lot of the verses are in the Old Testament. So these aren't necessarily Jesus's miracles. These are more like Old Testament prophet type miracles. So I'm interested in that because I'm pretty familiar with a lot of the Jesus miracles, but I haven't done a study like this about the miracles specifically in the Old Testament as much. I also did kind of like a color gradient with the text as you saw me do there. So I just used the highlighter, same highlighters, and just kind of did a, you know, every couple of letters switched up the color to the lighter tone and it worked with that. So I think that really came out cute, the lettering for the title. I also pulled another quote from the Colorful Floral sticker book, kind of matched up with that brush stroke design in a couple of the weeklies. I picked the green because that was the only color left in the book that I could find that would work with this. And I think it works well just with the color scheme that I have here. Those green leaves kind of help pop out with that quote on the page. I'm also coloring in a couple more clusters because I will need them here for those empty boxes at the beginning of the month that I like to do a little bit of extra decor there and just kind of highlight the theme. Just doing again the water brush technique, keeping the same amount of water that's in the bristles. So the bristles are just wet, but I'm not adding more water. And I did a little bit of better job, I felt like, with the darker colors here, like adding some variation between the yellow and the oranges and the reds and the oranges on the flowers themselves. So I think the second round came out a little bit better than the first as far as the colors, how I wanted them to come out actually with the water color idea.
And just trying to figure out how I'm going to fit this quote in here with these florals. A little bit trickier than I had imagined. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and straddle the spine, but this floral cluster is a little too big. And this one won't really work, so we'll go ahead and put that guy back. But maybe do some trimming and repurpose some pieces in different areas. See if I can make this work a little better. So I'm just trying to find a good like trim point on each of the stickers so that I can kind of pull out some of those florals and make things work in the smaller space. And I thought I might put that branch there, but oh, I kind of like it here at the bottom, leading into the title, tying everything together. And there was a little bit of brown uh, marking. Maybe I touched something and transferred it over to the page. And then I also realized I did not white out that last line there in those boxes. I use my white Sakura Jelly Roll pen. It's just an opaque white pen for whiting out fine lines. Works great. That and all the other tools that I use, as well as the stickers and things, should be listed below in the description. If you can't find what you're looking for, just reach out. I will get you the link if I can find it. So just going to go ahead and finish laying these guys in. And once I am done with that, you guys, we will be done, friends. Quick one this week. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. Go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch. And think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Bye.